McDavid is hurt. We need something else for the entire hockey world to talk about. Well, I think the NHL should explore having bigger nets. Thanks, Mike. Oh, it's been all the rage lately. Should the NHL go to bigger nets? Well, okay, wait. Why would the NHL go to bigger nets? What is the what is the bigger issue here that we're talking about? Okay, yeah, I, I suppose making the nets bigger would increase scoring. I mean, the goal is to get a goal, and to get a goal is to put the puck in the net, and if you make the net bigger than the puck, yeah, okay, I get it. But here's the thing about that. You gotta replace all the nets. And it was only about a year ago where we were at the All-Star game, and we were like, oh, it's so cool. They put, like, a microchip in the puck, and, it, and it's got all this cool tracking information, and, oh, it's wicked, and it's gonna revolutionize the game. Oh, cool, so, like, all pucks are gonna have that now? <laughs> no, are you kidding? We can't afford that. But I can afford bigger nets. Okay, let's look at other options. The most popular point of discussion is shrinking goalies' equipment, and I think this might actually be the best solution. The whole point of goaltender equipment, we're talking about these crazy maniacs never used to wear masks, the whole point of equipment is to protect the goalie. I don't think you should shrink it to the point where it's dangerous, but if you can shrink it beyond what it is now and keep them safe, why not do that? Goalies are bigger than they've ever been, they're more skilled than they've ever been, and if you don't have a save percentage of at least like .915, get out! But a point Sportsnet's Jeff Merrick brings up very often, and I like this a lot, is that goaltenders in the offseason, they're constantly training. They're working on different techniques and butterfly and all this craziness and oh my goodness, here's a new way to stop shooters. Shooters in the summer uh, workout, I mean I'm sure there's some skill training involved, but you gotta admit, NHL players are getting faster, stronger, but is their shot getting any better? You'll definitely want to listen to the most recent Merrick vs. Wyshynski podcast for more info on that. But this whole debate of bigger nets and smaller equipment got me to thinking, okay, can we find another solution? Yes, we can. I have an idea for a rule change, and it wouldn't even be a rule change because it would just be undoing a previous rule change. It used to be if your team got a penalty and the other team scored on you, well, I guess that's just too bad for you. The penalty continues. And they could snipe on you two, three, four times, doesn't matter. And unfortunately, the Habs dynasty, well, one of the Habs dynasties, went and ruined that for everyone, so they made it so that when your team gets scored on, when they're on the penalty kill, Guess what? Your penalty's done. You've served your punishment. If you want to increase offense, that might be a way to do it. The issue there is there is going to be a large chunk of game time that is just special teams. And all of a sudden you got guys who cannot score, but they're really good on the penalty kill and they're making like six million bucks. And I don't think the NHL wants that. So maybe that's an extreme solution when it comes to the power play, but what about this? Make it so that the team with the penalty can't ice the puck. I have never, never understood that. Why, when your team committed an infraction, do you get this new advantage, this magical power that you don't have at five on five? It makes no sense. You take that ability away from them, you make it harder for the penalty killing team to clear the puck out of their zone. Maybe, maybe it increases shorthanded goals, or maybe they get caught and it increases power play goals, you would assume. Make the nets bigger, change the pads. No, just change the rules of the game. It's a lot cheaper. One more suggestion I want to throw at you. Just leave it. I have never had a conversation with any of my friends at their house, at the bar, with my coworkers at work, at a hockey game. I have never had a conversation where we said, you know what, Ugh, there's just not enough scoring in hockey. I'm a hockey fan. I've liked hockey my whole life. I like hockey the way it is. But for some reason, there's this insecurity with hockey where we're always trying to cater to people who only kind of like it or don't like it at all to try to get their approval. I get that those people have money. I get that you got to do what you got to do to try to bring them in, but why not just cater to the fans you have? Stop messing with them. Stop messing with the sport. It's like we're in this constant battle to make the NHL that three-on-three -three arcade game that EA Sports made. Small goalie. Ah! Why not just incorporate rules from that game? Give all the players weapons. Was that a banana? It's ridiculous. There are ways to increase scoring. Increasing scoring might be cool, but I think hockey is great, don't you?